from what critics are calling lazy journalism at The New Yorker over Judge Brett Kavanaugh's latest accuser, to the mixed messages over Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Fox News media analyst Howard Kurtz is here to examine today's roller coaster coverage. Howard. Today's frenzy over Rod Rosenstein, which went wall to wall on cable news, was not journalism's finest hour. A source tells CNN now that Rosenstein has submitted his resignation. Well, that was not the case. Axios had also reported that the deputy attorney general had verbally resigned, only later posting a clarification that he had offered to resign to White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, and it wasn't clear if that offer had been accepted. Numerous outlets, including Fox News, quoted sources as saying Rosenstein expected to be fired. This in the wake of a New York Times report denied by Rosenstein that last year he had spoken seriously of secretly taping President Trump and pursuing the 25th Amendment. Then came hours of media chatter and speculation as everyone waited for Rosenstein to visit the White House. I'm confused why there's so much confusion. And I wish I could help with your confusion, but I too am confused. After which, the only real news was that he'd had a phone call with the president and they would meet Thursday. The media also pouncing on a New Yorker report by Pulitzer Prize winner Ronan Farrow about a second woman making accusations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, although the story had significant problems. The accuser, Deborah Ramirez, says Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a party at Yale in the early 1980s, which he calls a smear, pure and simple. But the piece contained this flashing red light. Ramirez was hesitant to speak publicly, in part because her memories contained gaps, because she had been drinking at the time of the alleged incident. Only after six days of carefully assessing her memories and consulting with her attorney did Ramirez feel confident enough to make the charge. I would say that that's extremely typical of these stories when you're dealing with trauma, alcohol. And does the story appear partisan? Why did she come forward? She came forward because Senate Democrats began looking at this claim. The New Yorker did not find a single eyewitness, only one person who claimed to have been told by someone else. And the New York Times found the story unfit to print, saying it had interviewed several dozen people and could find no one with firsthand knowledge and that Ramirez herself contacted former Yale classmates and said she could not be certain that Kavanaugh was the one who exposed himself. For Brett Kavanaugh, an accuser who had trouble remembering her story. For Rod Rosenstein, no firing, no resignation, at least for now. For the media, a day of sloppy and sometimes overreaching journalism. Shannon? Howard Kurtz, thank you very much.